All right, uh, Zim Jordan. So, um, for in, in your high school career, you played for three coaches: Coach Cochran, Coach Revis, and Coach DeWolf. Uh, can you begin by contrasting the three coaches and their different coaching styles? You know, how was one coach, Coach Cochran versus Revis versus DeWolf? You know, how, how did you work with these three uh, different coaches? Yeah. Uh Cochrane and uh, Mr. Doof, I mean, uh, they're more or less the same because Cochrane was the product of Mr. Doof. Okay. Yeah, but uh, uh, yeah, as of uh, the the basics of the game, uh, I got from a uh, from a uh, uh, Cochrane. Okay. You know? uh, then uh, when it comes to Mr. Doof and Mr. Revis. Uh, Miss, Mr. Revis came, uh, I mean, we never really used to focus on uh, this uh, uh, three-point game. Okay. And uh, uh, Mr. Revis sort of came with uh, most of the three-point uh, shooting plays. You okay. Know? And actually training us how to shoot, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then, uh, again, on the coaching style, you know, I would say Mr. Doof was like uh, very good. It makes you, I mean, it making you, uh, I, 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 I mean, the complete player, you know. Right. From the, the physical part of the game, to to the place as well, you know. Uh, whereas Mr. Revis was more of uh, very good at the uh, plays and the styles and you know kind of like team concepts and, and uh, the statistics, you know. Okay. Mr. Mr. Revis was was very particular about. Uh, Stats. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember one time he did, uh, maybe this was 94, he had all of us, you know, do uh, stats for um, physical fitness. Like you, how many basketballs, end-to-end -end layups can you make in like five minutes, you know, and you ran non-stop and he was tracking every single player. It was pretty amazing. Vertical leap, broad test. Uh, I remember, yeah, Mr. Revis, Coach Revis was very... Um, particular about that. Now another point I've heard before was, you know, Coach DeWolf was more of a disciplinarian kind of hard driving kind of coach, whereas uh, Coach Revis was more like a player's coach and so forth. Uh, is this true? Was this your experience? Yeah, you are very right. You are very right. You know, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Coach, Re Coach Revis, we even used to play together. Okay. We used to joke together, you know. Okay. <laughs> but now, Mr. Doof was uh, like, uh, I mean, especially to me, he was like a father figure, you know. Okay. And so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Whenever we dealt, it was like business. Yes. You know? Yes. <laughs> Tell us about the time. At least, I, I, what you've told the story before, when you got in trouble with Mr. DeWolf because I don't know you threw a pass behind the back or something. <laughs> Tell that story, please. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we were playing against uh, uh, Hillcrest. Yeah, I, I remember it had the high school, and uh, I was driving the. Send of the uh, on a fast break. Okay. And this guy was open there. This guy was open there. Then I, I when I hit this uh, behind the back pass and it was a turnover, and I I remember Mr. Doof was yeah Mr. Doof was the the ref and Mr. Revis was the coach. Okay. But. <laughs> Mr. Re Mr. Doof was the was the ref, but he shouted to the bench, "Substitution! <laughs> Anybody for Farai?" <laughs> hey. 
That was an embarrassing moment. <laughs> <laughs> moment. I never attempted that again. <laughs> okay. So and then uh, uh, so these coaches you played for, um, how did they impact you on in your personal life? Uh, coach Revis, Coach DeWolf, and Coach Cochrane. What impact uh, did they have uh, on you as a basketball player, but also just as a human being? Yeah, uh, like, uh, I mean, to, to say just a father figure uh, would be an understatement. Why? Because, you know, I, I mean, I, I was raised in a kind of broken family and we did not have a father figure. So, so when I came to the, uh, when I started playing basketball and got close to Mr. Doof, you know, I... I, I mean, he, to me, he was like a father, you know, and I remember even when, or oh, you remember, even when we used to go to trips, you know, yep. I always wanted to sit with him in the front. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, you know, psychologically, and uh, yeah, it actually helped me in, in, uh, uh, in life, you know. Right. When, when you know you have a father figure, and he has so much belief in you, you know, right. like when I, when I was selected to be the 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 team captain at form four with those form sixes, you know, and uh, you know that uh, that helped me to to build this confidence. Excellent, excellent. So have you, over the years, it's been 30 years, 25, 30 years now, have you stayed in touch with, uh, you know, some of your players on those high school teams as well as the coaches? Have you stayed in, you know, contact with some of these people here on and off? Uh, the, the coaches, uh, yeah, I've been in, in constant contact with Mr. Levis, uh, uh, especially uh, with Mr. Doof, uh, not that much. Uh, with the with the other players, uh, yeah, I, with Munyaradzi and uh, Munyaradzi, Gunyai and all, uh, yeah, we, we've been quite uh, connected. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I mean that's how we created the the group because we were always talking with Munyaradzi uh, about how it would be great to to meet as the team. Yes, and yes. that's that's how we started this uh, this, basketball, uh, this group. basketball group. Which uh, I mean, it was it, it was initially the 1992 team. Yes, but uh, slowly it uh, encompassed the whole team, which is quite good. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Uh, one one big controversial question I'm gonna ask you um, uh, regarding the high school uh, basketball players. You grew up on the mission. You've seen a lot of players come through Hadzo, the Josiah Kurewas, you've seen the Muganiwas, you've seen the Elisha Chambaras, you know, you've seen the Dr. Jonim Sabayan, um, Timba Nyoka, you've seen a lot of players. I'm in a game seven situation. You are uh, a player on the court. What four other basketball players from Hadzo would you pick to go and win a game seven? You on the court, you need four other teammates. We got to win game seven to win the championship. Which four basketball players, present or past, would you take into a great game with you? Yeah, that's a bit tough. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, well, um, I would, I would play the, the three Two formation. Okay. You know the, the three guys. You know right. that, that's the most popular uh, uh, play in Zimbabwe. Okay. In Zimbabwe club basketball, uh, I, I would play the three two with uh, with Josiah on point. Okay. I'm the I'm the other guard and uh, Munyara's the other guard. Okay. And on the boards I would have uh, Doctor Johnny and uh, Jonathan Denga. Wow, yeah. man, that'll be a hard team to beat, man. You got your post-up guys, you got your mid-range shooters, you got your three-point bombers, you got your 
uh, probably the only guy who can do better passes than you, Josiah Goodell. <laughs> well, that'll be quite a formidable uh, team. Okay, I'm gonna throw a curveball. Who's coming off your bench? Who's your sixth man? Uh, the sixth man, types. Type of name, okay. <laughs> That's a great team. That's a fantastic team. All right, all right. So now, now you finished high school. You've uh, how was your transition from high school basketball uh, into professional? Uh, I mean, club level or collegiate level basketball. Walk us through, you know, your transition into collegiate and uh, uh, club basketball, as well as some of the challenges of continuing to play this sport that you love so much, uh, moving uh, into college and, uh, and and club level. Yeah, that uh, I mean, that's the the toughest part of. Uh, I mean, uh, you. You start playing the game and the game becomes part of your life, you know? And to some extent, the game controls your life. Right. And there you are, you completed the, your, your A-levels uh, and with your grades you cannot go to the uh, university. Uh, you're trying to find a niche for yourself and uh, uh, you, you want to play the game so actually when I was in form 5 and form 6 I was, I was already playing uh, college, uh, I mean club basketball on and off with, <laughs> with the City Saints so when I finished high school I continued playing with City Saints but at the same time because I was trying to like find a job for myself or putting myself in some college, so I was, I was playing for City, for City Saints 